like one or two large buildings with, with dozens of separate units in, or can you better describe just how this complex is laid yeah, out? Yeah, that's fine, Dale. Yeah, the separate buildings, um, I'm referring to triplexes because there are three <laughs> residential spots per building is how I would, would describe it. Uh, it's sort of hard from our camera angle to see any separation between those buildings. It might look like one very long apartment building. It's not. They are they are separate structures, very large because there are three homes within one building. But uh, triplexes is, is probably the best description from from where we are. All right, Tim Daly, if you can stand by for us, please keep up that shot. We're going to send it back over uh, to Lee Painter, also live on the scene for us. Lee. Yes, uh, the crowd seems to have come back. We've seen a lot more people show up to, to take a look at what's going on here. Um, but the weather has also uh, lightened up a bit, so uh, more people are coming out to take a look. It has been uh, since 11 o'clock that this has been going on. Uh, the police line or the police tape is uh, much more secure now. They're not letting uh, people walk on the sidewalk to get close. Um, like we were able to do, we were able to, to walk up to Chrysler. Uh, not anymore. They pushed uh, all the civilians back. Um, for safety, and I just talked to a, a man who uh, lived off of a palisade at an apartment complex there, and he was not forced to evacuate, but he decided to uh, get his family out of there anyway, because he went, he looked outside, he saw uh, quite a lot of uh, police activity, uh, police with their, their guns drawn, and he just didn't think it was a safe place for his, uh, his family to be. Lee, are you hearing anything now? Uh, Tim has told us that uh, we might be hearing some noises, and they, they have any number of, you know, not necessarily even you know weapons. They they might you know try to launch a cell phone through a window if uh, they're trying to communicate with this guy or some type of communication device, or you know they've always got uh, flash bangs and, and tear gas that sort of thing. Obviously, I guess we we haven't heard uh, any, anything here in a while. I don't know if you're hearing any particular noises uh, that, that might indicate they've tried to break out a window and maybe get something inside there. Um, I had talked to uh, Sheriff Adam Christensen uh, earlier and I had asked him, I said, you know, were you guys doing any type of friendly fire? He said, no, absolutely not. But uh, uh, hearing from uh, residents that have lived nearby, they said that's exactly what was happening. There was uh, beanbags being shot. Uh, there was uh, there was rumors going around that 